Hey everyone, today I'll be unboxing HyperX Alloy FPS Pro. It's a Cherry MX keyboard, it's a tenless key, it's made for portability, the cable detaches. The bad thing, the cable is uh, attached over via micro USB port. And um, let's get to the unboxing. This is a first for me. Uh, the 10, 10 keyless key and uh, Cherry MX. I used only Logitech with Romer G switches. As you can see, the packaging is pretty basic. Popped out the keyboard. As you can see, here are some specs. Also, this keyboard has uh, this is the gaming button, this is the macro. Okay, here up top are the, are the media keys, very intuitive. So the experience uh, only playing with the uh, Hyper uh, Romer G switch. The push of the button is pretty linear. No hard push. Let's get what we had. Have anything else in the box? This is joining the HyperX family. Oh, nice. I also had the have the headset and uh, I've had some HyperX Savage RAM. Okay, this is the quick start guy. There's some prints and the cable is up. Let's put this to the side. So this is a braided cable. This is the keyboard part. So this actually is not micro USB. It's mini USB port. Yep, it's the mini USB. It's not micro USB. Here is the... Sorry for misinforming so the keyboard itself it has a nice touch the back is plastic the front is metal okay and it's pretty heavy the USB connection is in the upper right part the braided cable is relatively flexible I will bring my current portable keyboard. Portable is on saying it's my Logitech G four hundred thirteen. Okay, so I will put on top of the Logitech keyboard and down the HyperX. As you can see, the layout is pretty standard. It has the long shift. The keys are uh, are there. So 
this is the sound comparison between these two. Uh, as I mentioned, I've got the HyperX for around 55 US dollars and the Logitech G413 for around 65. Um, what I'll be missing is the USB port uh, pass through. It is also the braided cable is a little bit thicker, but it's dual port and that's why. And the flexibility will be increased. Uh, so these are the two braiding. The Logitech is still thicker. Okay. So the HyperX stainless key is a little bit smaller and it's lighter because of the missing keys it will be my uh, new portable uh, keyboard it will uh, serve me well because the other one uh, has problems of fitting in my backpack and the detachable cable will uh, be a good acquisition because you can uh, detach it and it won't one gold in my backpack thank you for watching like if you liked it this like if you disliked it and have a nice day so i took off one key so you can see it's the cherry mx red on the logitech i never took a key because uh, they look so fragile but uh, on the logitech i also got the gaming uh, WASD and some other buttons so I can switch but I never switch because they are different color different textures and I hate that I have connected the keyboard to my PC as you can see the under key glow because of the metal frame is a little bit accentuated it's a nice look. Here is my Logitech keyboard. They look nice too. It's like overexposing. But don't be fooled, that's not uh, that intense over red. And this is the Logitech 800. G800, the RGB key. It will fit nice with my laptop, which, uh, which is a Legion and has uh, all the red accents on it. Here is the lightning control. And also on the Logitech. I found the software is the HyperX Ingenuity software. It requires a restart to work. That is bad because I have connected and it tells me to connect the HyperX and I don't device. So I have disconnected and reconnected it. Checking for an update. And that's it, folks. It's not recognized. That's a pity because uh, Logitech has all its keyboards and mice is shown on this it doesn't 
need to be a fancy keyboard to detect it and uh, also you can change the uh, color scheme pretty nice oh I found the manual switch okay so you push function and circles through the this is the breathing always on so breathing off also key press and okay this is the wave This is the FPS buttons, and that's it. Okay. So, I'm done right now. This was my unboxing and uh, first impression on this keyboard. Thank you for watching. Like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. And have a nice day.